Okay, uh, welcome Vanderbilly and YouTube. Uh, this is Studio Live uh, Tips number two. And uh, what we're going to go over is a brand new uh, song here called Capable. So obviously I have to create a brand new file. And I've been working on this uh, roughly a couple weeks. So uh, the first thing we have to do is find out the tempo of the song on the acoustic guitar. Okay, when you copy a song, say if you wrote it on acoustic or a friend of yours wrote it, in this case my nephew wrote it about a year ago, and uh, first thing you have to do is find out the tempo of the song. Now there's two ways of doing that. You can take that song and just record it right away uh, and use the actual wave for it, okay? And with Studio One, this program right here, it will find the tempo for you automatically and there's there's a way to do that okay we can get into that later uh, but uh, uh, I found it through more or less just playing it and uh, pushing it back and forth between uh, beats per minute and it came out to a, exactly a hundred so uh, I want to keep this session right here this tip number two with just easy drummer because I found out on tip number one we got ahead of ourselves and uh, uh, some folks uh, I think uh, weren't that far as far as with their home studio recording it. So let's get right into Easy Drummer here and, and I want to show you how I did it. Okay, and uh, in the next few sessions we're going to go through the rest of the song and then we're going to do some more advanced editing too. I want to do that and some automation. Uh, so anyhow, uh, let me play the song for you here real quick. Just about 10 seconds of it. Okay, so we went through right there uh, roughly about uh, uh, 50 seconds of the song, and let's go back, and I'm going to mute the rest of the song here quickly. Okay. I use a fader port also here, but uh, you can do it with a mouse too. Okay, here's the drums. Here's the fill. And notice the beginning beat, okay? And how we go up here, if you can follow the mouse here, is these are all duplicated. You pick one and then you duplicate them. Okay. So if you notice right there, that's a hundred beats per minute right there. And as we stop here and then go into the guitar, see how it's changed? I just love that beat. That's simply a different groove, okay? And you, when you get into Easy Drum, you're gonna love it. It's only a $70 program. There's hundreds of grooves in here. And let me pull this up right now and show you how I did that. Okay, here's our, our Easy Drummer. Okay. Let me zone in on this a little bit. And this comes with, uh, it's called Tune Tracks. 
it's it's uh, just awesome. And uh, with Tune Tracks, you c it comes with a, a like a, a six disc set, disc set, and it is just you can keep purchasing, and you've got the disc. So all I needed was a seventy dollar program, the Easy Drummer, right here. And see, I'm doing this with my mouse right now too. Now, if I want to record a beat manually, I can do that, okay? And then I can I can go into a mixer right here, and I can adjust the tones, and then the presets and everything. I can create a preset, okay? Through right here, simply create it, and we'll go back here. So. What I'm going to do here first is I'm going to open the groove and I, on this one, I have a choice here of uh, in my library, uh, Pop Rock, uh, uh, a Drum Kit from Hell, and Vintage Rock, Latin Percussion. I use mostly uh, Vintage Rock and then this Drum Kit from Hell for uh, different beats. So on this first one right here I chose, which I think most of you will too, is the, the actual the Vintage Rock. Okay, and then I went into it's called a, a standard rock here, right at the top here, and that's going to give you your BPMs at 100 between 130. Okay, so I knew I wanted that, and then I chose this this groove right here called it was simply called uh, from Hell on Wheels groove number four, and then the hi hat was open. Okay, so and you can choose the tempo right here, a half tempo, full. Um, tempo or twice two times a tempo and let's hit play okay and so also we have our fills here okay so we've established our BPMs here now let's take here's the cool part right here okay let's take this groove right here I'll take it over to this screen here and I'm going to simply drag this okay that created its own file already okay and so I'm going to hit D for duplicate and I'll give it uh, oh, about uh, 50 seconds there. Okay, I'm going to mute my first one here. And move this back over and hit play. Okay, so there's our groove right there. Um, it didn't play right there because I didn't create a, a brand new file for it in a file track. Anyhow, uh, but that's that's our groove right here. And then if we pick out a, a quick fill, double click on fill, and you can go down all the way. Just some killer fills here. And you can mess around with those all day long. But uh, on this first session, I just wanted to go over Easy Drummer here. And so let's shut this down and go back into Easy Drummer right here. And I wanted to show you how I added this pre EQ here through Studio One on Easy Drummer. Okay. And so we're going to hit play. And 
and I can I can mess with the EQ all day long here, which is really cool. Okay, so that's uh, uh we're gonna wind our lesson down here for uh, tip number two with our Easy Drummer right there, and like I said, I strongly recommend it, and uh, it's it's. Uh, it has a wide range of programs to it, uh, but I think you really like it for home studio recording. And uh, as, as far as the the uh, the actual uh, uh, fills and the ending fills, uh, it's just it's endless. So that's uh, that's it for uh, tip number two on Easy Drummer, and we'll get back into uh, the rest of the song here on tip number three, and we'll bring in the guitar.